Alrighty, my super duper amazing third grade musical geniuses. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Marty here. And I am going to show you how to draw a treble clef today. Now I'm using a marker just so that it shows up on my paper really well, but you should not use a marker. Got it? Don't do it. Use a pencil. Um, that was the best option. I really wouldn't even use a pen. So I'm starting with a blank piece of lined paper. Uh, that's just because it's easier to make the lines for the staff if you already have lined paper. You can use blank paper, but once again, I don't recommend. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw those lines. So we know the staff is going to have five lines. So one, two, three, four, I actually think that might be the hardest part. And now comes the actual drawing of the treble clef. So the first thing I do is I make a dot. I did about one line below. Then I make a hook all the way up. So now I've got like a tiny little fishing hook. Then I do a half circle then you can kind of see it. this half circle is not as big as my next half circle, which is going to be like that. So now I have two half circles. Well, I guess the bells don't know yet that school's not in session anymore. So this one was about two lines. This was about three, but it doesn't need to be exactly. Then I'm going to do something weird. Some of you guys who've learned how to do treble clef already, even some of my piano students, you're gonna be like, Mrs. Marty, that's not how you taught me before. But what I want you to do then is make a new dot on that second line. One, two. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a swirly, swirly out. And there you go. You've got a beautiful treble clef. Now yours might not look as beautiful because I have probably drawn like Honestly, no, no exaggeration, probably a thousand treble clefs in my life, if not more. So I'm going to show that to you again. I made a dot. I did a fishy hook. I made a, a small half circle. Then on the other side, a larger half circle. Then on that second line, I made a dot and I swirled it out to connect it. So you can see they're not exactly identical and that's okay. The main thing that you need is for it to look somewhat like this and that this center dot, this one, this one, needs to be on that second line, line number two. If you do a treble clef and you know, maybe it's beautiful in all ways except you make the swirly here, then it is a big O wrong. That dot needs to be there. Now, if you already know how to draw a treble clef and you know how to do it different ways, then you are fine to do that. I, I am okay with it. This is just the way that I think is easiest to teach you guys online. I think that's the quickest way to do it. So your assignment is to get a paper like this. You're gonna draw a five line staff and you are gonna draw not four, but 10 treble clefs. And then once you do that, I want you to circle your favorite treble clefs. So like I can tell you right now, I look at these four. Obviously this one has a big X through it. Honestly, I think the first one I did was my favorite one. So I'd circle that one, but you are gonna circle two. The ones that you think are your two best treble clefs. And then I want you to get an adult to take a picture of this and email it to me because I want to see how your treble clefs are going. And if, you know, it's not super easy yet, don't worry. We are going to have so much more practice to draw these. This is just your first time to, trying to draw a treble clef. And I'm not even there to like help you fix your hands or anything like that. So try your best with it. Uh, and we will see how far you are for our next lesson then next time. All right, bye guys.